Hi there, my name is Sadiq Paul from IamCivilEngineer.com and today our video is about shear force and bending moment. The calculation of the shear force and bending moment is very important as far as the design of beams is con uh, beams or different structures are concerned. You don't have to do only this in the beams but you have to calculate the shear force and bending moment for columns, for, for the roof slabs, for the footing and everywhere so you have to uh, you have to know the f basic concept of the shear force and bending moment and how you can calculate by using the sections the method of section so in this video we will be uh, going to solve the shear force and bending moment on a beam so let's start the video so friends i have a simply supported beam which is having a span of 36 feet and it is applied by two loads vertical loads one is 30 kip which is acting here and the other one is an inclined force which is 25 kip and for this 25 kip I've got the angle which is 36 point So this is all about the beam and here uh, here is that point B where I have to calculate the shear force and the bending moment and you can say that the distance of uh, various points all those distances are given here it is 12 feet here it is 6 feet here it is 6 feet and here it is 12 feet so now the first step after this one is I, I need to calculate uh, I need to draw the free body diagram now the free body diagram is that here it is uh, here is here it is a pin support hinge support and here is a roller support so I have two report reactions here I can write them as here here, here I have only one, here I can write it as 30k and for here the same 25k. I need to calculate that how much equivalent of this load is here in vertical direction and how much equivalent load is acting in horizontal direction by using this angle. So I take this as point A, this was point B, I take this as point C. I can say it is as VA it is PA and here I can say it as VC so and the distances there were the same 12 feet, 6 feet, 6 feet and 12 feet now this is a free body diagram ok first I need to resolve this 25k force to know the equivalence and for that we are given with that angle so first find out that by using the uh, equations of trigonometry I can calculate and I can say that for here if I draw this triangle this is 36.87 and here it is 25 then this is perpendicular and this is base so according to the trigonometry 36 sign 36.87 P over 25 so from here I can calculate what is P and uh, it is 15 so the next one I can use is cos of 36.87 as B or 25 and from here I can calculate B as 20. So we can write this 15 and 20 here. So this is 15 okay, and this one is 20. Now our next step is calculating the support reactions. For support reactions, I can use the equations of equilibrium, which is summation fx is equal to 0, summation of y is equal to 0, and summation m is equal to 0. I have to use these equations on this beam to calculate the support reactions. 
So for first summation fx is equal to 0. I can write here. I take the rightward force is positive and leftward force is negative. So if I say PA is plus minus 20K is equal to 0. So here the horizontal reaction about point A is 20K. And by using this summation FY is equal to 0. I can write here. I take upward forces positive and downward negative. So for that VA plus VC because both are acting in opposite uh, in upward direction minus 30 minus 15 I take this as 0. So from here I get this equation VA plus VC is equal to 45. For this I can use the last equation that is summation of moment about point is 0. So I can take summation at point A because now here the trick is that whenever you are uh, calculating the reactions you must take the moment about that point where most reactions exist like in fixed support where we have three reactions or a hinge support where it is two reactions because if I take the uh, uh, moment here and in case of the frames this uh, calculation will be very tedious so if I yeah, this trick is that we should take the mo uh, moment about a point where maximum support reactions exist so I take it as moment A you can because it is a beam it is not a frame so you can take on either side but I'm taking it as summation A zero so this 30k is producing positive uh, clockwise moment here so I take that clockwise as negative I take 13 12, 12 30 times 12 and this 15k is also producing clockwise so I take this as minus 15 times 24 and sim this uh, VC support reaction it is producing counterclockwise or anticlockwise so I take this as positive VC times the span which is 36 is equal to 0. From here we can calculate this support reaction as at uh, point C as 20 kip after calculating this now by putting this here in this equation I can calculate VA reaction as 25 so now I have got the reactions I've got the vert horizontal reaction at point A the vertical reaction at point A and the vertical reaction at point C so I've got the three three things this one two and three now you can write those support reactions in this diagram VA is 25 the PA is 20 and here VC is 20 Now our next step is to find out the panning moment about this point B. So let's move to that. Here for calculating the shear force and panning moment at a point is that you cut the beam through that point. So we cut a section here. And I say this section is small b, bb. So if you cut the section, you have to either use the left side of the beam like this one you cut the section you remove this portion okay so you remove this portion and you calculate or uh, evaluate this left portion or you can either use the right portion by removing the left one removing the left one and using the right one so you can use either ways you can use any of the sides and the trick here is that you must use that side where mm, uh, the smallest uh, of the forces exist like in case of uh, fixed beam if we have this fixed free end beam if we have one force here one force here let's suppose then you know if you need to calculate here if you have uh, are given the task to find out the support reaction at uh, the bending moment and shear force at point B then if you uh, are, uh, go towards using this uh, left side you need to calculate all the support reactions including vertical horizontal and the sh and the bending moment but if you use the right portion like here you don't need to calculate this 
support reaction so that is the trick here and because here I have this two forces here something like this so it, it is not a difficult question but here you can use this left or left side portion so I'm using the left side portion here you can draw the section here Now by using the general uh, positive sense of the internal forces, I can draw here one vertical shear force here, the axial force and the bending moment. So here I say it as M, here I say this as V and I say this as P. So these are the three things that we need to calculate here. And we would use the same forces, summation Fx0 summation f y is equals to 0 and summation moment is equals to 0 so here you can see that if you calculate summation f x is equals to 0 this 20 plus and this p plus is equals to 0 so it is p is minus 20 now here this negative sign means here that the sense of this p was wrong so the axial force here it is not acting away from the beam but it is acting towards the beam producing a compression sort of thing here so here the P is 20 but it is in this direction this is the correct answer similarly summation F Y is equals to 0 for that I can write here 25 upward plus here V is downward so I take this as minus and minus 30 I take it as minus 30 and uh, I can say this as 0 so from here I can calculate the sh shear force here and the shear force is 5k after subtracting. So shear force is here, axial force is here, now the bending moment. Now for bending moment you have to calculate the moment about this point which was point B. So I can say here the summation at point B is 0 and for that I take the anti-clockwise positive and clockwise negative so 25 is anti-clockwise so minus 25 times 18 okay. and uh, this 30 is producing clockwise so plus 30 in the 6 the distance and this m plus so from here I can say that m is equal to Now after calculating and the moment comes out to be 270 in the same sense. So here I can write this downward. So this is the result of this calculation. I can say this is axial force. Here this is the shear force. And here it is the bending moment. So that's all about this video because we were only discussing the uh, how to calculate the shear force, axial force and bending moment at a point. Now the next step would be how we can calculate the how we can draw the free body, uh, draw the bending moment and the shear force for a beam. It also includes the axial diagram. Thanks, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get updated about the latest videos. Thank you very much.